Excel Module 1 Skills Review Exercise. It'll be called Travel. Open the 1 2 Excel spreadsheet. Enable the editing. Click in B3, type J A N, and to confirm what you've just typed, either press Enter or click the check mark in the formula bar. Then click in D7 and type the value 202497, and again to confirm what you've just typed in the cell, either Enter or check mark. And then we will also use the fill handle, continue February and March. So select B3 so it's active. Hover over to have that thin little plus sign and drag across to C and D. So fill handles for you. And then we need to make a correction in the spelling of Miami. So if you double click or if you click in the cell and then press F2, it flashes in there. So either double click or click the cell once and press F2 and then go ahead and correct the spelling and then to accept it, to confirm it, press enter. In C7 the amount should be 188270. So again press F2 so that you're flashing in it. Use your arrows, backspace 2, and to confirm the new figure, press Enter. In A17, type your name. Now select G4 to G6. I'm going to copy this selection. So click the copy button in the clipboard section and then click in A10 and paste. Once it's in there you can delete what you have in G4 to G6. Now another way you could have done it, so I'm just going to redo. So this is where we were. If you want you could have selected then hovered over the border where you have the four arrows, hold and drag instead of the copy, or I would have co cut instead of copy and paste. Either way, as long as you move them from G over to A10, you're fine. So now we'll click in A8. In A8 is the word total and we also want it over here in E3. Now you could click copy and then go over to E3 and paste or like I just did where I dragged it from one location to another. Um, I want to drag it but I also want to keep it where it is so if I hold control and then on the edge of the border the green drag I can keep it in both the old location and the new. So that was um, hold control and drag. So click in E4 and we need a formula that will add B, C, and D. So I'm going to do it two ways. Whenever you create a formula always start with equals and then you'll click B4 plus C4 plus D4 and it'll add all three cells together and then you press enter you get your answer and if you look up here you'll see the formula that it did add B, C, and D. So that's one way and then you would use your fill handle and drag it down. I just want to show you another way to put in um, a calculation is to use that auto sum button which is over in the top right editing group and if you choose the sigma symbol it's the first option which is sum so you don't have to actually click the down arrow you could just click sum and it knows to add the formula is slightly different but in the end result it's the sum of B4 through D4 and then enter. Another way you could do it if you like shortcuts is hold alt and press equals and it's the same formula. Either way when, you want, when you're ready go ahead and fill handle and then we'll select B8 and we'll use the auto sum and it should um, 
it should have everything from B4 to, to B7 automatically assumes everything above it so that's good check and then we'll drag that across so we fill all of them in so you only had to do the formula actually once in F3 type percent of total and then press enter in F4 you're going to create a formula that divides the value of E4 by the value in, in E8 so you'll start with equals and you'll click E4 divided by the total that is in E8 and then check mark and that's the percentage of the total and then go ahead and drag down now if you notice you have different values because if you look in the formula the formula says E4 which was this cell which is fine divided by E8 the next cell the formula should be E5 because that's where that value is but it's not going to have E8 it's going to think it wants the next one E9 so it went from E5 which was correct but not E9 and the next one is E6 but not E10 so what you do is click undo and go back up to the formula bar where your original E8 is and you can either press the function key that's labeled at the top of your your keyboard F1, F2, F3, F4 will put dollar signs in front of the E and the 8. If you don't have an F4 button, just type a dollar sign E dollar sign 8. And what that's doing is it's telling it to always divide by that number for all the cells. So check mark and now when you fill handle, the first number is set relative cell reference E4, E5, E6, so forth. But the the what it's dividing by E8 is always E8 and if you add that up that should be the 100% from the total so if we look at this formula one more time the E4 that changes E4, E5, E6 that's called relative cell reference the one that's on the right that always st stays E8 is called absolute cell reference Click in B10, and we want to average of all of the um, the locations um, for January divided by. There's four of them, so the book has you put in a formula where you have equals and you have um, B4 plus B5. So I could do that just to show you what it does. So all formulas are equals. You want it to add first, so B4 plus b5 plus b6 plus b7 close your parentheses and then divide by four of them and then you have so you're telling it just like if it was a test add up all the tests and divide by as many you, t you took so that's four and then you get your average there is a quicker way to do it and it's your choice how you do it as long as in the end it's correct so i would click the down arrow next to auto sum and there's actually an average button and it's going to average um, the only thing is it's averaging total which you don't want it to include so I'm just gonna reselect so it only takes the four B4 through B7 enter same same value now if you look at these numbers and we're always excluding the total row so just these four values which one is the highest number it's easy to see Los Angeles so but there's a formula especially you would want especially if there's lots and lots of rows so again in that down arrow choose max and again it doesn't know the correct range you select the correct range which is B4 to B7 enter minimum What's the smallest amount? The 157 for Miami. And again, in the auto sum down arrow, there's min. Make sure you select the correct range, B4 to B7. Check. Now that you have all of them complete, select all three and use your fill handle. You don't have to do them individually. So, so let's get ready to print. Choose file, print. And if you notice there are no lines showing in the printed document, if you go back and in page layout, 
where it's grid lines, select print. Then choose file, print, and you'll see the lines. As you can see, this is in landscape, but it's all in the upper left corner. If you wanted to, you could change it to portrait because it all fits, but you still want it centered vertically and horizontally. So it's your choice. I think the book wanted landscape, but I'm going to have you go to page setup. And this, again, you could decide here, portrait or landscape. I'm going to go to margins and notice it's all in the upper left corner. I'm going to choose center on page both horizontally and vertically. And there's my preview. And I'm going to click OK, but stay here. So it centers it perfectly. So back where you just were, click header and footer. And then you can decide, do you want your information at the top of the screen or the bottom? Your choice. Either way, you're going to get three options, left, center, and right. In the left, I would like the current date. This is a calendar. It'll put in the current date. It's a formula. Click in the middle center section and type your name. Then click in the right section, and I'd like the file name. Click the X, and that's the file name. And then click OK, OK, and there you have it. Go ahead and save and submit. Thank you.